Comrades, you really have to be there tomorrow. Tomorrow will be a historic match, a big match, because the people are coming out to show that they are fully in support of this Labour Party and that they have full confidence in Denzel Douglas, Asim Martin, Marcelo Leibard, and the rest of the Labour team. Very good. And so, comrades, I want you, if you have full confidence in Labour, when I call the issues, you say full confidence. When it comes to crime fighting, what you have in labor? When it comes to debt reduction, what you have in labor? When it comes to education? When it comes to education? When it comes to job creation? When it comes to development? When it comes to empowering women? When it comes to empowering young people? Full confidence in labor, come out tomorrow and march. Comrades, I want to call before you now the lady who is number one in number two. The lady who will take the seat again in the elections whenever they are called. Because the people have said that Marcella is doing good for the people of Central Basti and for the country. Marcella has introduced into this government Long service gratuity for women and men who are working on the industrial estate. And Marcella is bringing a national health scheme so that every man, woman, and child can have access to health care. And so I want you to put your hands together and welcome for me the Honorable Marcella Leibold. Shy until I seen your eyes. Still, I had to try. Yeah, oh, yes. Let me get my words right and then approach you. Woman, I'll treat you like a man is supposed to. You'll never have to cry. No, I know everyone can relate to when they find a special someone. And she's right. So royal, and I want her in my life. I never know anyone so one of a kind. No. She has the qualities of a queen. She's a queen. Ooh, ooh, what a natural beauty. No need no makeup to be a cutie. Thank you. Good night to all the labor comrades. Good night to you. This is a special night. This is one of the most significant nights for those of us who are in full solidarity with workers and the working class. The eve of Labor Day, one of the most significant nights. So I say, Good night to all of the workers of this country. Good night to the women. Let me hear you. Good night to the people of East Bastia, the good people of Central Bastia, and wherever else you're from. They're going all over the place, minding everybody's business. But I told you about three weeks, about three weeks ago or so, that they had to cancel three meetings. They're minding everybody's business. And they can't pull off this. Guess what? They had to cancel another one before they go on here. Right here in East Bastia. But they're minding everybody's business. Meanwhile, on Thursday night, we had a meeting in Upper Market Street. The Prime Minister was not here. The Deputy was not here. But Labour is strong and united. So even without them, what a meeting in Upper Market Street on Thursday night. That's labor for you. I wish, however, to express some condolences on behalf of Central Bastia to Francis Body, who has to travel to St. Martin for the death of her niece. So we wish the Body family all the best and our sympathies. I want to say happy birthday to my father, 
Today is his birthday, he's 94 years old. Happy birthday, Daddy. And those in East Bastille, we have two centenarians here. One, Miss Gwendolyn Watty, who made 100, I think it was the end of March. And we have Mama Maisie on George Street, who makes 102, not Maisie for you, Daniel. Makes 102 on the 29th of May. So we want to big up those two centenarians in East Bastille. I also want to congratulate Garden Hotspurs on their victory on Saturday over St. Peter's. You know we're depending on you to bring home the championship. And I want to big up Colbert and Pepper and all those who are in the management of this team. I want to acknowledge Bird Rock basketball team. Wendell, let me sleep peacefully tonight now. Wendell, let me sleep peacefully tonight. Acknowledging Bird Rock basketball team. He said, my son used to play for Bird Rock, which is true. But my son also played for Ghetto Roots and Hitters. But I want Bird Rock to know, bringing them up tonight as him, but Gut Box and Hitters coming for them. Right? I want to congratulate all of the young ladies for the show last night. And to congratulate all of the winners, number five, number four, number five was the queen, number four, number one, and number two. But all of the ladies, because these shows help to make you more confident and give you greater self-esteem. I want to thank all of the parents and all who helped to make the show the success that it was. In Central Bastia, I want to particularly thank Miss Patonia Gilbert and her mother, for allowing her to go in for the show. I want to thank Hollis and, Sh and Sheldon and Richard and all who helped. I also want to thank Ga Gary Thompson of Gary's Fruits and Flowers who make all these beautiful creative wear for the people of Central Bastia, the contestants, year after year. And thanks to Vincent Faux for carrying this show year after year. It's not an easy job. We want to say thanks to you, Vincent. Sheila Barrett was responsible for these shirts we have on, they didn't tell you. But Sheila comes down every year for Labor Day, and we want to thank Sheila. Gratitude is altitude, and so in labor, we are very, very grateful. Come what's the news out of St. Martin that says that the coalition government there has fallen or is falling. Another example of what coalition does. Instability and uncertainty. We don't want that. So tomorrow, we march in to keep St. Kitts Nevis stable. We march in to keep St. Kitts Nevis certain. But comrades, I started a series at Upper Market Street, and the series was called, Will the Real Timothy Harris Please Stand Up? That's the name of the series. By popular demand, we're carrying on the series tonight. So we have in the second edition of Will the Real Timothy Harris Please Stand Up. This is a man who over the last couple of months, when you listen to him, you would think that nothing at all good is happening in this country. Nothing good. Everything wrong with the economy. Everything wrong with health. Everything wrong with poverty. Poverty getting worse. Everything wrong with tourism. Nothing at all good is happening in the country if you listen to Timothy Harris. Nothing. Even when the IMF people come and they say that the country is turning around. These are the experts. They say the country is turning around and that in 2013 we'll have economic growth. Timothy Harris say nothing goes so. But you know what that is called? The fox and the sour grapes. I don't know if you know that story. The fox and the sour grapes. He wants to be the Prime Minister bad, bad, bad. And because he can't be the Prime Minister, then the grape sour. Everything sour. Not only the grape sour, they want to mash up the grape tree too. But we will match tomorrow to ensure that that does not happen. So even on Friday here on the radio, and everything wrong with the country, all of a sudden, the debt is at its highest, he say. He don't even know he's living in such la la land. He ain't even know the debt going down. Everything in the last 17 years that was done, Timothy said it was wrong. And even those things that he agreed to, he now saying, Lord, I beg all your pardon. 
I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have said them. I was too young. Maybe I was forced and all to sign on to these things. But now I'm looking back. I see I was wrong. So I'm begging pardon. That is what he out there saying. But I want to draw to your attention. Again, the 2009 budget. And I understand for those of you who are asking me that it is online. You can get it online. Look at it and see what Timothy Harris was saying in 2009. I don't know if he was still very young. But in 2009, this is what Timothy Harris was saying. And I read. He says, Mr. Speaker, our innovations in the real economy have helped to generate the resources required for our social programs. Let us not forget that less than a decade ago, Port Zante was just a barren piece of land jutting out into the ocean. Indeed, no one in their right mind would invest there at that time because it was so prone to hurricanes and natural disasters. But we secured it through the implementation of an expansive revetment program. And this year, for the first time since its construction, Port Zander with stood a major storm and encountered virtually no damage or disruption in activities. Indeed, today, Port Zanta is a vibrant addition to the town of Bastille that attracts hundreds of thousands of cruise ship visitors to our shores and generates a wide range of income earning opportunities for our people. Our enlightened leadership has reconfigured Port Zante. Our enlightened leadership has reconfigured Port Zante so that it can attract the newest and the best cruise ships to our shores. We are one of the preferred Caribbean destinations for the Queen Mary and celebrity cruise lines. According to Timothy Harris in 2009, and he says, our substantial investment in airport security, the resurfacing of the runway, and the creation of additional parking space for jets have contributed immeasurably to the feasibility of many of the tourism-related projects on the Southeast Peninsula and throughout our Federation. The Robert L. Bratcher International Airport now both scheduled international flights directly from Philadelphia, Atlanta, Miami, and New York, and we look forward to the commencement of direct jet flights from London through the operation of British Airways in January 2009. I don't have to tell you that we have those. We have those. And this is Timothy Harris. So what is he saying today? Will the real Timothy Harris please stand up? It's too much hypocrisy in the place. Too much hypocrisy. And tomorrow we have to go out and match in our numbers against hypocrisy. Because he's saying here of all the development that is taking place in the country. But today, nothing right. Nothing going right. He went out and spoke about poverty in this country. And he said that right now, poverty getting worse. He spoke to some figures of a poverty report and said the poverty rate in the 2007-2008 report was 23.7%. And that is true. The poverty rate in the 2007-2008 report was 23.7%. But what Timothy Harris conveniently refused to tell you was that the poverty report for 2000, which was the report prior to that, our poverty rate was at 30.5%. Our poverty rate in the report in 2000 was 30.5%. 0.5%. So if the poverty rate in 2007-2008 is 23.7%, isn't that a decline, comrades? Isn't it going in the right direction, comrades? So why is Timothy Harris trying to fool you? Why is he trying to fool you? Let him go back, let him go back and look in the report and let him deny what I'm saying tonight. So you would see that poverty is reduction is trending in the right direction. Trending in the right direction. And in a recent report, when they were looking at our social safety nets, one of the things they said was that St. Kitts Nevis has the most 
social safety nets in the area, in the region. St. Kitts and Nevis has the most social safety nets. The only issues that we must look at, we must look at our targeting, and we must look at duplication. And we are reforming those social safety nets with a view towards targeting, making sure the targeting is right and that there's no duplication. You would not come words that we have school meals. A lot of the social programs cross ministries, education, health, social services, etc. We have school meals. We have school books. We have school buses. Whichever country you know, children go on the school bus and they ain't got to pay something. In Nevis, they have to pay for the school meals in Nevis, this is the island. Here, you don't pay a cent for the school meals. In Nevis, they have to pay $20. The parents, $20 per month per child. In Nevis, here, not, nothing. You get that free. School meals, school bus, school books, exam fees, free health, uniforms, and the health includes dental health for your children. We have care for the elderly. We are the home care officers go and look after the elderly people. You know how many countries looking to us to duplicate that program? How many of them looking for us? And the recent reports we get and statistics we got in health says that our longevity has gone from age 73 to age 76. We are living longer. It says that our death rate is low. It says our infant mortality rate in law is low. And our maternal death is almost non-existent. Good quality care you're getting in this country. Good quality care on the labor. There is food vouchers. There is the compassionate grant. That is where we give something to those children whose parents are incarcerated. We have that in the social safety nets. We have Project Viola, which is a project where if you get pregnant in school as a teenager, you don't have to give up on your education. You don't have to. We look after you to make sure that you can continue your education despite the little mistake you must make. You have the card in home. We have a project right now going on for people living with disabilities. We'll soon have a full program for people living with disabilities. And then we just had the New Horizons Center, which we opened to look at our at-risk youth. So what is he talking about? What is he talking about? And then, in the same budget address, in the same budget address, in speaking about our social safety nets program, the same Timothy Harris, the same Timothy Harris. Mr. Speaker, I'm pleased to report that the economy in St. Kitts and Nevis continued on a path of positive economic growth and development in 2007. Despite the many challenges that our federation faces, we have remained committed to a creation of a well-diversified, well service-oriented economy. The foundation for this transformation was laid in the years prior to the closure of the sugar industry, says. The foundation was laid in the years prior to the closure of the sugar industry. But he said nothing going on for 17 years as we made considerable investment in the non-sugar agriculture, tourism, information technology, and financial services. These sectors have been clearly identified in our national adaptation strategy as the pillars on which this new economy will be built. Indeed, this is in light of the continued trade liberalization and threats of global economic and financial turmoil our economy would have had to undergo significant change and become more competitive. He says this growth has been accompanied by significant social progress. The growth accompanied by significant social progress. The United Nations Development Report 2007-2008 ranked St. Kitts and Nevis 54 out of 177 countries worldwide ahead of all Caribbean countries except Barbados and Bahamas. Our performance in terms of human development index is indicative of our strong focus on human development and of the effectiveness of our programs aimed at poverty reduction. This is Timothy Harris. 
will the real Timothy Harris please stand up. We have to march against this type of hypocrisy. So you have to come out in your numbers tomorrow and march. We have to march, come words. Because these people have joined with those who oppose Bracho and Southwell and France. They have joined with those who sought to overthrow Bracho in 1967. So we have to come out and march. And I want to tell you a story about Sam Kanda. About six weeks ago, Sam Kanda had a program on Win FM that he was talking. And he said that he cannot, with a good conscience, run for labor under Douglas. Cannot with a good conscience. But he could, with a good conscience, join with those who wanted to overthrow Bracha. He could, with a good conscience, so that come what? And could Sam Kanda, with a good conscience, join with all those who obstructed Bracha when he tried to reclaim the lands for you? Where would you be today? Where would you have homes today and land today? Could he, with good conscience, join with those come what? Could some Kanda with good conscience join with those who was taking bread out of his own very mouth? They wouldn't give him any work to do. They wanted to take away his scholarship. Could he with good conscience join with those comrades? But he couldn't with good conscience run, he says. But Al Powell, Al Powell called in on the program. And she says, Sam, I want to tell you how, Lord, I'm so proud of you. And how I just want to support you. And to let you know that when the election comes, you will have my vote. Yeah. Do you know who Al Powell is, comrades? Yeah. Al Powell is the face and the representative of those who are against the working class. Yeah. Al Powell is the face and the representative of those who represent the planter class. Yeah. Al Powell is the face of those who didn't want you to get the lands that you have today. Al Powell is the face of those who fought against comprehensive education. That's why your children can get a good education today. And she says proudly that she is voting for Sam. Well, Sam's name was removed from the voters list by Pam. Me and he, same time. They take off my name and they put something on the internet with me and he picture and a big thing mark removed across the two of us face. Sam is now registered in East Bastille. You think he voting for Asim, comrades? No. You think he voting for Asim? No. Okay. So you must know where they're at. And then they want to go there and say that there's labor. But more than that, I want to remind you of lads, last labor day. Some of us side, I side for myself. Some of you didn't. But Al Powell again, Al Powell again, comes into the match and she pulling Sam out. She pulling Sam out of the match. And he laughing, you know, and they had a nice joke, right? Well, what I want to tell you is that that was symbolic, comrades. That was symbolic because she has he finally succeeded in pulling some out of the match for Joe. She had only pulled some out of the match. She pulled some out of labor. Some have broken ranks with the working class of this country and have gone to join those who are anti-working class. That is why, if you look at the Observer newspaper for this weekend, they said they're not matching. But they can't match, comrades. They can't match because they have broken ranks with the working class of this country. And they've gone to join Al Powell and all those who represent those who are anti-working class and those who are against the workers, those who are against Bratcher and Southwell and France. But we have to match for our leaders who have fallen like Bratcher and Southwell, France and more. And we have to match for our leaders who we have now. And we have to match for the programs that we are bringing on stream for you, the people, like the National Health Scheme that you all will benefit from, the long service gratuity that you all will benefit from. And we have to match for the reduction in electricity that you will see from the end of this month. And you have to match for the PEP program, where you have only 1,500 people employed. And give Jeffrey a round of applause for that. Yeah. Jeffrey a round of applause. What are you talking for, Jeffrey? Give Jeffrey a round of applause for that. 1,500 or more persons employed in that PEP program. And we expect them to come out to match tomorrow. Because labor is responsible for that. And I want to say to you tonight that that is what labor is all about. That is what labor is all about. 
And so we have to come out and march tomorrow for labor leaders in our thousands, in our thousands. There's an interesting thing in this Observer newspaper where it says that Dr. Harris and Condo to run a joint campaign. And in it, they're quoting Timothy Harris at a meeting that Sam Condor had up the village that you had to be invited to. It, and he says, and they're quoting, and by the way, the Observer, it says, the Federation's politically independent news source. You know that this paper has an agenda. Always, it is an anti-labor and anti-Douglas newspaper. There's nothing in it that's politically independent. Again, they're trying to fool people, just like who they're representing here. And this is what Timothy Harris had to say. We are hoping, listen carefully to Harris. Listen carefully, you. We are hoping Pam will win number one. Pam, this is Dr. Harris. We are hoping Pam will win number one. They will win number two. Sam Condor will win three. Pam will win four and five. Do then he said Douglas will win six. And then he says, what are you saying? Not even that. And then he said it will be Harris again in seven. And Pam will win eight. This is Timothy Harris for you. Timothy Harris for you. And the labor. But they want labor to lose in one and two and four and five. And the labor. Come what's done be fooled. How anybody could be labor and want labor to lose. They are labor and they're trying to bring down a labor government. They are labor and they're trying to destroy a labor organization. But they are all of self. And they believe in the philosophy of what you can rule, you must destroy. What you can control, you must destroy. And that is why you must come out in your numbers tomorrow. In your vast numbers. And match with labor. The women must come out and match with labor. And I want to pick up the new superintendent, the first female superintendent that has been... Um, the police force has had Miss Muslin, Muslin Hughes. I also, since we're in East Bass, I want to big up Miss Isles, who was inducted into a Hall of Fame for women for being the first ADC to the Prime Minister, Imelda Isles. So all the women must come out, and all of you who are not born here but who are nationals and who are residents must come out and match because this is the only inclusive party. This is the only party that's looking into regularizing your status in a genuine way. Nobody trying to fool you as they're trying to do. The only inclusive party is labor. So tomorrow, come out in your numbers. March for the labor party. March for the labor organization. March for the fallen comrades like Bratcher and Southwell. Don't put a stain on the legacy of Bratcher and Southwell. Come out and match for your current leaders. And most of all, come out and match for yourselves. Come out and match for yourselves. Because with labor, you are labor. And labor is you. So tomorrow, with full confidence, we'll come out. Full confidence. Full confidence. We'll come out tomorrow and match in our thousands to show solidarity with workers and with labor. Thank you, and have a good night. They never thought we'd have been here. They never thought we'd have been here. But guess what? We are still here. We are still here. Thank you.